Today I'm going to show you three new pieces of gear to me from Fire Maple for outdoor cooking and your preparedness needs. Let's check them out. All right, folks, welcome back. So I wanted to show you these three new items that I picked up from uh, Fire Maple. They are not brand new to them. They've been on for a while. I think somebody misunderstood it when I said the other video. Um, they're just new items for me to use. And I think they're going to have a lot, whole lot of use in the channel. We're going to go into the first one here. I want to tell you quickly what they are. First, it's the Feast 4 aluminum cookware. We have the Maverick wood stove back there, and it doesn't look like that one. That's kind of a short, tall one. This is, this is the square one. And lastly, the Fire Maple... And uh, what is it? Aren't Seti 1.2 stainless steel pot. The cool thing about this pot is it's also a steamer. So that's going to be really cool too. We're going to try out this stuff today. But first I want to break into the first thing, which is the Fire Maple Maverick wood stove. So let me get that set up for you right here. And we'll talk about it a little bit. And then we're going to try all the stuff out. All right, out. so quickly I'm going to pull this out and show you what's, what's in it. Again, this is a fairly heavy unit. Um, but it's definitely adequate for one or two people for backpack cooking, maybe even three. Very nice uh, packaging. Very nice packaging. It also has some instructions in here on how to assemble it if you get confused. You're going to put the sides together and then put the bottom ash pan in last. So I'll show you really quickly how it goes. It's kind of confusing at first when you first look at it, but these are your sides. Now these, this side here is going to go into these here. So what you want to do is something sort of like this. You're going to stick that in there, stick that piece in there, and push up. So we're going to build all three, and then I'll show you how to get the center ash pan in. All right, so I have the base built real quick, like that, as you can see. And it's not stable yet because we don't have our bottom ash pan in. You'll notice on the ash pan, there's one side that's a little bit longer. You're going to stick that side in first towards the front and then lower the other stuff in. So it's pretty much going to be like this. I'm going to put this in, snap in, snap in, and snap in. And all four sides are connected. Now i got to push that out a little bit. There we go. So all four sides are in there. It's nice and sturdy now. You do have this grill. This grill is very well made, actually. This actually feels like a decent, sturdy uh, sturdy grill. It's not, you know, cheapy stuff. I've seen those before, and I'm kind of scared to use them. This one's actually pretty good, and it will go right over into the spot, and it sticks right on there, so you're not going to have any problem with it walking away. So we've got that shown to you. Now let's show you the other two items, and let's get outside and test them. So now we're going to show you the Andrasetti uh, 1.2 stainless steel pot. This is extremely cool because you remember I was telling you about having to steam some of the freeze-dried wholesalers food. You can do that with this, <laughs> okay? So basically what you got at the top here, it will lock on. You see the little lids, pieces that go over the edge, okay? You have your little steamer basket, okay? So you can stick a small amount of food in there, put some water in the bottom here, boil it, and steam it. This is also safe to use over a fire. This is really heavy-duty stainless steel, okay? Definitely suitable for any kind of work you're going to do with it you can definitely put it over a fire nice and thick nice looking little set okay drop that in there put this over the top snap the ends over and you got you're ready to go that's snapped on there nice and tight you can put it over a fire hanging or you can just put it over a camp camp stove like that we're going to be testing this in a separate video because i want to do a steaming video with it so today i'm not going to be testing this one but we are going to be using the cook kit that i have over here the cook kit and the fire maple stove so i wanted to give you that one really quick now this one runs about 39.95 it's the only thing that's not on sale in the video yet remember they have a bunch of gear that's going to be on sale the maverick wood stove was 58 dollars. it is now 44.95 so definitely saving some money on some of this gear let's get the next item out and by the way these stuff sacks are nice and big and oversized so you can put extra gear in there if you want or extra food in there whatever definitely cool let's go to the next one that's going to be the feast for aluminum cook set all right so this is a larger cook set. Again, suitable for two or more people. Uh, I would say two to three, honestly. Pull it out here and show you. This is the pot, and this is the pan. This is the cool part. This pan here will pop open like that, and you'll be able to use it as an actual frying pan. And when you want to pull it back up, you're just going to push this little thing in here and snap it back on there. You've got these nice ridges in here. So you can actually grill on this. You could put this over an open fire, and it's almost like a grilling grate kind of thing. You can get some grill marks on your steak or whatever. Very nice, well-made, hard anodized aluminum. Okay, your pots. This is your big pot. And it gets to be one of those little Russian dolls inside here. <laughs> There's one smaller one and smaller one. 
Okay, let's get that out of there. So that's your big pot, okay? There's your two liter pot right there. I'm just gonna start sticking them up here, okay? And this is your smaller pot. Again, same style of handle, same cover, okay? Then you get inside here and there's a bunch of little things. We're gonna take a look at that in a sec here. But I wanna show you this pot first. Now this is a 1.5 liter fire maple hard anodized aluminum pot. We're gonna be using this one today and we're gonna be using that pan we're going to do some stuff with that um, and the grill itself. I wanted to show you this, though, because this is kind of cool. You get a little scrub brush inside here, and you have a little tea kettle. Now, what I like about this tea kettle, I've tried these before, and they always kind of seem to be not holding enough water. Well, this is kind of um, small in stature and height, but it's wide on the bottom. So you get a good amount of water in here, and you get a good heating area, good surface area to heat stuff up with. So, easily boil some water in that right there nice wide bottom okay next up side you got these little 200 liter bowls 200 milliliter bowls i should say little tiny bowls um that's handy for not only eating but cooking you know like if i'm making something with one pan and i want to take it out and use the pan for something else i can put it in one of these and hold it to the side i can put my veggies in here or whatever and when they're ready i can dump them in so they're handy in a lot of places and this little stir or spoon kind of thing going on here so, let's get this outside. I'm going to build a nice wood fire, and today's a perfect morning for it because it's really cold out. And we're going to um, get the fire going, and we're going to cook some food using these two for today. And believe me, you'll see more of these used in the, in the channel. Um, I'm, I'm really happy to have a camp set of pots that are one and two, one and a half and two liters, uh, big enough so I can actually cook stuff in them, especially the bigger, larger, dehydrated stuff. So let's get it set upside, get a fire going, because I want to warm up out there because it is cold, and we will try this stuff out. All right, so we've got some... Uh kindling all set up there no fancy fire starting methods today i'm using an old thick lighter i'm just gonna light up some of this wood here with this uh other stuff here the dryer lint there we go so we get the fire going and then we're gonna put the stuff on top here i have the uh, pot ready for some uh k k army uh ramen unusual kind of spicy ramen and have a little bit of spam and again yes i know this is not health food this is camp food or emergency cooking food <laughs> so let me get the fire going here and uh, we'll bring you back once it's roaring and we're ready to cook I'll tell you one thing that heat is definitely welcome this morning we were down to 28 degrees here in town and i know for some of you folks that's like a nice balmy warm day but not out in the desert <laughs> So we're doing pretty good with the burn here. It's burning very nicely. I think the ventilation on it's pretty awesome. Uh, it's got lots of open sides here. You have a side here to feed and a side here to feed as well. So any way you want to feed that wood in there, you can. So I'm going to let it burn down a little bit so we don't scorch everything. And we will uh, try this out. All right, so I got my pans on there. I had, didn't let it settle down too much because I am trying to boil water because we're going to be cooking this stuff today, this K Army stew soup with a little bit of spam in the pan and on the grill too. Test them out both, see which way I like better. But uh, I'll wait for the fire to burn down before I put uh, any of the spam on the grill so I don't burn it. For starters, we're just gonna put these noodles in that back 1.5 liter pot back there and get it cooking. Then we'll try some of the spam in the pan here. Fire seems to be calming down a little bit. There we go. And I didn't use any kind of lubrication in that pan because I figure, first of all, it's hard anodized aluminum. Second of all, it's uh, it's going to be uh, putting out a whole lot of grease. So, not worried about that. Bring you back in a few minutes. All right, so I put the spam on the grill. I figure, yeah, I put a little bit too much wood in there, but it's all right. You know, the spam's cooking in there. I just want to see how it works on both ways, both methods. Move that over here because I got a whole lot of fire going on there. There we go. So let's give it a few minutes and let this uh, do its thing. And then we will put the teapot on over here for my instant coffee. And try that out too. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Doing good so far. I have taken one piece of spam off because it's ready and it looks like I'm getting ready to take another one off. There we go. Yep. There we are. Now the spam, I probably should have put some lubrication in here because the first two pieces that I put in there did stick pretty bad. So probably should have put a little bit of lubrication in there. But hey, you know what? The rest of the stuff's working just great. So no problem. And I'm loving the, the, uh, the stove. This is just so cool. 
be able to cook out over an open fire in a controlled environment like that. Especially when you have burn bands. Some burn bands allow you to cook in a you know, controlled kind of stove like this. All right, let's finish this up and then put the water on and see what we get. I'm going to be putting the soup base in here in the back. Now, these are spicy, by the way, so if you don't like spicy soups, you may want to think twice about using these K-Ramen, these K-Ration uh, soups. Here we go. All right. Move this over here. I'm going to just put my water on. I'm pretty much done with the spam. Put my water on back there. Feed in some more wood. And we're doing good. All right, so it's time to try out a little bit of this. I have my water on for my coffee. I got some Folgers Instant. Try out a little bit of this and see how it is. I'm, I'm really liking the stove. This is really nice, actually. You know, for a, a cold day, get out and make yourself a little wood fire. I'm putting this in here. Get out of there. Once that water's ready, I'll be set. But for now, I got my Spam and my K-Army noodles. Pretty spicy, but not too bad. I, I left the water in. Normally, I'll do it without a lot of water, but these are kind of spicy, so... Mm. Good stuff. Mm. Definitely a hearty meal. One of the cool things about this, when you're doing this this way, is I can keep this side kind of simmering with the coals, and I can move this piece of wood right under my thing here so I can get my uh, pot going and get my water going with the fire and not put constant heat under that. You just kind of tap that off and let it stay warm. I got a whole lot of food here. I'm not going to be able to eat all this, obviously. But uh, definitely a cool test. So I'm going to wait till the coffee heats up. There's water. Actually, the water is ready. Okay. Get some water there and pour it in. There we go. You can't beat that. All right. So I'm going to eat this up. A little bit that I'm going to have here for lunch. And then clean everything up. I'll show you how it cleaned up. Give you my final thoughts on it and give you the links on where you can pick it all up. All right, so I got them inside. I rinsed them off. I didn't scrub or anything. Um, all in all, got to say, I'm very impressed with the kit. Works very, very well. Didn't have a chance to use everything yet, but believe me, you're going to see this used in my channel a whole lot because this gives me a lot more flexibility. And as you can see, most of that soot from the fire just rinsed right off. Uh, you can take a look at the pans here, pots. Most of it just came right off. And again, they're cooking pans, you know, for the outdoors. Not worried about them being immaculate. But I got to say, I'm very impressed with the kit. Now, I want to give you the measurements on the uh, the stuff here. Um, but before we begin, it has, uh, the whole weight on this is 2.2 pounds. The size of the pot, the big pot, is 6.6 .6 by 3.8 inches. Pot large, I'm sorry, the medium pot, 6.6 .6 by 3 inches. Large pot, 7.4 by 4.6 inches. Your fry pan is going to be 7.6 .6 by 1.6 inches here. And that worked very, very well once it got heated up. I should have let it heat up a little more. Your T3 kettle here is going to be 6, point, 6 by 2.8 inches. All in all, your big pot is going to be 2 liters or 6.67.5 fluid ounces. I'll get it spit out yet. <laughs> fry pan is going to be 30.4 fluid ounces and your T3 kettle is going to be 27 fluid ounces altogether. Very, very nice. Again, I'll show you how this all nests together real quick. Sorry for being noisy here. We're going to be putting all this in here. Okay. And I am going to use the, keep the scrub brush in there. I didn't use it for this particular video, but it definitely does the job. There it is. My lid. My little guys here, my little cups, which are back in the other room. This is going to go in here with the lid on it. Okay, close that up. That fits in here. Lid goes on that, and then that goes in there. And there's your kit. Nice, big, generous stuff sack. Again, I like the bigger st stuff sacks. Just need a little push on the side. But I definitely like it. It's huge. Lots of room on it. There we go. So you see, once I get it in there correctly, you got lots of room for your condiments, whatever else. Maybe you want to stick some food in there. There's your kit right there. I'm going to be trying this kettle out too because it is a steamer. And I really couldn't see a use for it today in my video, what I wanted to do to demo. But we are going to see. I love the fact that it's a steamer as well. So it will steam the food as well as cook it. And of course, the stove down here. All in all, held up perfectly. No issues. No warping, no problems. I didn't fully dry it off yet, but I'm not worried because it's stainless steel. But as you can see, definitely a nice kit. Um, definitely does what it's supposed to do. 
no problems at all. It is a little on the heavy side, so I wouldn't suggest it as a backpacking stove. Unless there's two or three of you backpacking together, then that's a whole different story. But uh, very cool, and it is on sale as well. Now, this was originally $58.95. Again, it's going to be $44.95. Your Feast 4 aluminum cookware set was $69.95. That's going to be $54.36. We save them 22% on that. And the Ansetti, uh, Ansetti pot is going to be $39.95. So definitely a cool deal all the way around. I will leave you links down below where you can pick everything up. I have them all down there for you. I forgot to put the grade in. And uh, you can check it all out there at the site. There you are. You can check it all out down there at the site. I think you guys will be very pleased. You know, I've been doing a lot of stuff for Fire Maple, Le Fire Maple lately, and I've been very, very pleased with their quality and their gear. So I got nothing but good things to say about them. Uh, I really do like their stuff. Um, this is definitely going to come in handy for our cooking videos. So we're going to be seeing a lot more of this stuff in the channel. I thank you guys for watching. The links for all these will be down below. Okay, so check out the links down there. Don't forget to check out our Amazon link as well. That is our affiliate store. Uh, if you use that link and just shop as you normally would, even bookmark it and use it to shop on Amazon, we do appreciate when you do that. It helps the channel out a whole lot. Our freeze-dried wholesalers link. The link will save you 15% on all of his food. Just use the link. When you get to check out, you will see the, the discount at the end of it. And our My Patriot Supply link. That's preparewithiridium.com. Com, prepare with iridium.com we got some amazing deals going on there this month as well as our thrive life freeze-dried food store don't forget to check that out as well thank you guys for watching stay safe and stay prepared